Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and this is the third and final part of the Ford Focus WRC 2000 in 124th scale by Hasegawa. Now having finished the bodywork in the last part, I decided to move on to the windows. Unfortunately, I forgot to video myself um, masking and painting the end series of the windows, but they went quite well. I used here a little bit of Bob Smith Super Gold in the edges to glue it into place and then used some masking tape to fix it. Now then there are some mirrors on the photo etch fret. Here this one went on the inside of the rear view mirror and that one was glued onto the inside of the roof here. And there you are. Looks pretty good. Now the rear windows here, they glue in on the outside. They fit very nicely into place without any issue at all. Now for the headlight lenses, I did my old trick of running a little black sharpie around the edge to simulate the rubber trim. There are also decals that need to go on the outside of these, I'll do those later. Used a bit of contact clear to fit these into place. The rear window fits on top of the outside. It wasn't the best fit, but it's okay. For the tail lights, I fixed them to some plumber's aluminium tape before colouring them in with a red and orange sharpie, and then used some super glue to fit them into place. The foil will keep it safe from the super glue. Then, as I was putting the bodywork together, I realised that the roll cage was knocking the rear view mirror out of place and so therefore I had to open it back up again and I then super glued the rear view mirror to the roll cage itself. Now the front bumper has this lower lip thing here at the bottom. If you're making a road version with this kit you'd probably leave that off. Now the rally cars often only had a wing mirror on the driver's side however I decided to do both. But again they had photo etch mirrors to go on either side and then they fit really really nicely. Then there's a little Ford racing decal that goes onto each one. Now during each rally several different wheel styles were used and I realised that I had some five spoke wheels like this left over from a different kit. Here they are, they were left over from a Mitsubishi Lancer. I put it to my followers on Instagram which was more popular and the multi spoke kit ones won out 25 votes to 23. Firstly the centre of them needs to be done in gold here, after they've been painted in gloss white of course. These wheels had actually slightly yellowed in the bag over the years, so it was very important to paint them. I then used a little bit of iron paint on the end of a cocktail stick to do the four wheel nuts. The tyres are a bit boring and featureless, but you don't really notice that once they're on. There are then four decals that need to go on. Firstly, two Ford blue ovals. And secondly, there are two OZ racing decals which go around the outside of the wheel nuts. Now the tyres also need to have Michelin decals, however these had suffered quite a bit with age over the years and fell apart, so I found some in a spare sheet which I had bought for a previous build. Then there are these little black sort of shades that go over the outside of the uh, headlights. Felt it was a good idea to do this after fitting these lenses so that I could line them up as correct as possible. The 
The wheels fit on really nicely. Now the bumper has got a couple of pins which it needs to match up to. There was a little bit of a panel gap on the driver's side. I think I'll pass it off as a bit of minor damage. Sunstrip goes on next. I always do this after fitting the window. And the little driver co-driver decals go on like so. The co-driver's name, Nicky Grist, is on the top, on the side that he sits on. There was also a small Rally Monte Carlo decal that went on the rear window. And the windscreen wipers are both the same. Now for the photo etch, I put a little bit of super glue gel down into the uh, spot for it. As these are very small, I also positioned the lights here to make sure that they didn't get in the way. Now to bend them, I used these uh, kind of blunt ended tweezers and I left them on the fret. I do have a photo etch bending tool, but I found that because these uh, bonnet clips were very small, they were bent much more easily on the uh, fret itself. Then there's a small ring which needs to be kind of um, thread in between uh, a gap on the back. And once they glued down on both the bonnet and the boot, I found that uh, they didn't move. And there we are. Pretty happy with how this has turned out. It's a car which I always wanted to have in my collection. You might also notice I've added um, one of the uh, two wire aerials that came with the car onto the roof. I don't think I've done a perfect job, but I'm still fairly happy with it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've built one of these, whether it be this one or the version that Tamiya made. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll see you soon.